The Substitution, Part 2. Oh, excuse me. Mr. Vitali. Yeah. I didn't expect you'd be back today. I won't be long. Your wife called. She said that she couldn't get through. Okay. She said it's urgent. She said you have to call her immediately. Oh, immediately? Typical of her. Thank you. I'll call her back now. Mm. Listen, Masha, I'm not sure I can go with you today. Anatoly, what are you doing here? Drinking. What has happened? Okay, stop, stop, stop. <coughs> Just tell me what happened. Did you have a fight with Ludmilla? She was getting ready for the boutique opening, the one on the embankment, you know. And? Yeah. And this big guy came, that's what I call him. What big guy? The chief security officer, really big guy. So I nicknamed him that. Uh -huh. He always hated me. Thought I was with Ludmila for the money. And what did he tell you? Well, she left and came back in a few minutes and told me to get out to my mistress, who I drove around in her car while she worked her butt off. That's all she said before all of this happened. That's it. I see. Ooh. Um, that's the boutique that's on the riverbank. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Take the key. Meaning? I mean what I say. Go inside, open the fridge, have some food, and make some tea. You can find some chamomile. I'll be back soon. What? C chamomile? Don't go, Olga. She's not going to listen to you anyway, trust me. Hello, Victoria. There's something wrong with the lock. I can't open the door lock. Are you home right now? What? What photos are you talking about? Just a second, calm down, Victoria. Can you open the door for me? Don't even think about breaking the door. <sighs> Listen, explain what's going on. I don't understand. Hmm? Where, where are these from? It doesn't matter. Why don't you go see your girlfriend? Hold on, hold on, just calm down. I'm not going to calm down right now. No, please wait. Victoria, I can explain everything. What are you talking about? Didn't you understand? Get out of here, you don't live here anymore. Wait, wait, you can't just make that decision, Victoria. Well, I think I just did, and there's nothing you can do about it. I talked to my lawyer, and he said I have rights. What lawyer? What lawyer? When did you talk to a lawyer? When I filed for divorce from you. Wait, are you serious? It's just a job. This is just a job, you Victoria. You take me for a fool, don't you? Stop screaming, you'll wake Lasha up. Let her know what kind of daddy she has and why he's kissing a random woman, huh? Did you show them to her? Are you serious? Why would you ever show them to her? I didn't what's wrong show with you? Her, but she's not a little girl already. Could she you stop understands shouting? what's going Please, on. Daddy. What happened? Don't argue. You're scaring me. Oh, calm down. It's all right, my princess. We are just talking. Now, Glasha, go to bed. Daddy is leaving. Victoria. Okay, calm down. Daddy has very important work to do. <laughs> and what are you going to do? Mm. Victoria, let's be civil about this. I'm being civil about this. Keep it up, and I won't let you see her at all. <laughs> Listen, honey. Please go to bed. Don't cry, calm down, go to bed. I have to go to work and I'm coming over tomorrow. And then you and I can spend some time together. Okay? That's enough. Glasha, let's go Come to on, bed. Come on, go on, go to bed. Come on. Good night. That's okay. enough. It's time. It's late already. Bed. We need to get to bed. Come on.
Hey, Misha. Uh, hello. Can you talk right now? Uh, I have a question for you. Uh, are you doing a shoot right now? Where is it? Uh, wait, what? Oh, am I bothering you? Hello, Ludmilla. Good evening. I'm Olga. I'm Anatoly. I see. Uh, it's all a misunderstanding. We're only friends, that's it. Of course. That's true. I ran into him at the dress shop, and he helped me when I needed it the most. Helped out. Yes? I know how helpful Anatoly is. Don't take me for a fool. That's it. Let's get out of here. Please understand, we're really just friends. Mm -hmm. You should be ashamed of yourself. Me? Ashamed? Why should I be ashamed? You just played with him and threw him away like a boring toy. I'm just an excuse. If it wasn't for me, you'd find something else. What is she saying? Get me out he of here. He really home. loves you. Can't you understand that? Can't you see it? Do you have any idea what love is? He'd do anything for you. Everything I said. Don't go out of the light as we agreed. Yes, the hat is fine, and the leg when I tell you, okay? There. Smoke, smoke, good. Okay. Masha. Masha the leg. Perfect. Okay, one more time. Perfect. Hold on, carefully. What's up? What's up? Can't you see I'm busy? You remember those pictures you took of us? Yeah, sure, I do. I'm busy, can't you see? Hey, you... What the... <clears throat> Can you explain how these pictures turned up at my house? How do I know? I've never laid eyes on them. You're lying. I'm serious. I made two sets of them. One is for the client, the other's for the report. Those are the only ones. The originals? I deleted them. Why would I need them? Damn it. I don't understand. Fine. It's your lucky day. Okay. Uh, ten minute break. That's it. You probably have a headache. Why don't you take some aspirin, okay? Huh? You should take some aspirin. No, Olga, I don't need anything. Would you like some more tea? Three years. We've been together for almost three years now. And we'd have another anniversary in about a week. Anatoly. I'm so sorry. I had bought the ring and everything. It's not expensive, but I think it's very beautiful. Handmade. She used to like that. She says that diamonds are cold. And they're dead. But this... This one does have a soul. Anatoly, where are you going? You can stay here. I found a cot that you can sleep on if you want. No, I'm going after her. I'll be lying at her door until she lets me in. Anatoly. Thank you for everything, Olga. You are a true friend. You can always come back if something happens. Miss. Dear, it's been 20 minutes that I've been waiting for the car. Yes, I gave the address, I did. Where are we going? We're going to the countryside, I'll, I'll show the way. Okay, fine, I got it, I got it. The driver will call when he gets here, okay, bye, thank you. doing here? Scared, aren't you? I kept wondering, where could she be? 
Then I remembered your friend. So I decided to check it out. What do you want from me? Well, that's exactly what I want to ask you, Olga. It was you who showed my wife the pictures. Do you understand that she kicked me out because of you? I was also kicked out of the house. Because of you. Ah, oh, okay. <clears throat> Fine. It's my fault. It's my fault. You suffered because of me. But what does Glosha have to do with this? I'm not allowed to see her anymore. My child is suffering all because of you. What about my child? She wasn't born at all because of you. Let's just say we're even. Here. I took one when... when we changed the lock. Hello, hello. How are you, Yevgeny? Yes, it's Vitaly speaking from IR Consult. You and me, we, uh... Yeah, 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 it's me. Listen, the reason I'm calling is that I need to meet with you. Uh, well, frankly speaking, it's quite urgent. Um, tell me when and where. I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where it is. All right, all right, good. I'll be there. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, Evgeny. How are you? Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, Would you like something to eat? Oh, no, thank you. It's really good here. Well, well, the reason I'm here is I actually have a question for you. Have you decided? You don't know about my price. No, 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 no. It's not about the divorce. Well, it's about a divorce, but not mine. <laughs> you are beating around the bush. Um, here's the thing. Recently, we helped a guy get rid of his wife, dirty laundry, pictures of an affair, etc., etc. According to the prenup, in case of adultery, she gets nothing. <clears throat> <clears throat> but there is no adultery. I know it for a fact, and so does the husband, by the way. Mm -hmm. So, the question is, theoretically speaking, if I testify in court and tell everything that I know, could it change the outcome somehow? Mm -hmm. And what, get paid more? No, no, no. This is coming, uh... I just want to make it up to her. What do you think? Nothing. Now I can tell you nothing, but I can call you around eight, okay? This is perfect, okay? Okay, thank you again for the meeting. Good night. See you. Andre, my friend. It's me. No, I'm fine, but the same can't be said about you. Yeah, soon you might find out yourself. Yeah, it starts with bad and ends with N-E-W-S. No, it's not a joke. All right, listen now. <laughs> Here's the deal. I just met with a guy. He's from your office. He's going to testify on your so-called divorce proceedings. Uh, it seems like he might actually be growing a conscience. You know that this could get real bad, right? Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right here. Don't thank me yet. All right. Good luck, Andre. We'll discuss it later.
Aunt Dasha. I don't want to live at Aunt Dasha's. I want to live at home, Mom. Please. You need to stop whining all the time. I've already told you. It's for a while, till I sort things out with your father. What are you going to sort out? Do you think I can help sort it out with you, Mommy? Ah, oh, well, hello there. I know you. What oh, are you hello. doing here? You were the lady kissing my daddy on the pictures I found. Victoria, we need to talk Come on, about go. this. Do you have a lighter? Too mm -hmm. bad, I'm dying for a smoke. So you're the one who reeled him in. No one reeled anyone in. Victoria, we had nothing between us. Of course you had. Listen. My husband wanted to get a divorce. And he didn't want to give me any money. So he needed an excuse for the court, the adultery. So he made all this fuss. The photos are faked. We had nothing between us. Really? <laughs> I really don't care if something happened or not. <laughs> there are the photographs, which are evidence, and I can finally file for divorce from that man. You can't even imagine how you've helped me out. How I helped you? Well, <sighs> listen, we got married because I was pregnant. He served in Africa under the contract. I was young and I thought everybody would get married to pencil pushers, but I would have a hero. Well, I finally told him that I wanted an abortion, but he wouldn't allow it. I went along with it like an idiot. And when he returned, he couldn't find a good job and I need money, understand? I've been setting up this beauty salon with my friends. A real private business. And then your photos came along. Wait, but you, you have a child, don't you? Well, Vitaly, He'll do anything for Glasha. That man will give me whatever I want in order to see her, understand? So thank you. Thank you, my friend. I'm not a friend of yours. That's fine with me. Ah, right, you showed up. Come in now. What's up, Andre? What's going on? What are you doing? What are you doing, you skunk? Do you want to ruin my business? Do you want to drain me dry? Okay, I don't understand. And who met with Sobolev behind my back? You think I wouldn't find out? I always know everything. Are you working for Kozreva now? I don't work for anybody. I just wanted to help her. How dare you? How dare you, Vitaly? How dare you speak to me like don't that? Don't get carried away, Andre. What did you say? What did you say? I'll break your legs, you skunk. Good afternoon. Seems like you can't stay away from this place. Good afternoon. Your consult? Yes. How are you? I'm sorry. Come on, it's not your fault. It's not you who got me fired. I met your wife. I wanted to tell her the truth. To tell her that the photos are fake. She doesn't care. If they're fake or real, she just needs a reason for a divorce. Do you know everything? So why do you... Why what? Why I live with her? I'm sorry. It's none of my business. Did you see my Glasha? <laughs> yes. She's very cute. There's your answer. What can you do then? She only needs one thing from me. I bring her money. She gives me Glasha. Until then. Well, until then, I'm absolutely free. 
If you don't mind, Olga, I'll see that you get home. Is that okay? I don't mind. She only lets me read fairy tales about princesses to her. <laughs> That's okay. All girls like princesses. Mm -hmm. You might be surprised, but there's not that many fairy tales about princesses. <laughs> oh. It's not funny. If you ask me, <laughs> what I hate most in the world is these, these fairy tales about princesses. <laughs> these princesses are driving me crazy. <laughs> well, you know what? I used to love fairy tales about princesses as well. I even used to make them up, and I would tell everyone in kindergarten them so I wouldn't forget them. <laughs> You didn't write them down? Uh, when I was about four. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Am I taking up your time? No, no, no. That's, uh... Victoria, she gave me a time to meet with Galasha. I was hoping to get her a gift. Mm. Well, it's okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, if you don't mind. No, no, I don't. Well, goodbye. And Olga, can I stay with you for a couple of days? Of course. And what about your Ludmilla? It's useless. Anatoly, don't... don't be upset. Maybe this is all for the best. You'll find a good, normal girl. What do you mean, Olga? She is normal. <laughs> but she's much older than you. Olga, I love her. Okay. Um, what are you gonna do now? I guess I'll just go back home. My sister started a new business. She wants me to help. Oh. Hello? Yes, it's me. How are you? Tomorrow? Of course. Of course I can. Yes, I got it. See you tomorrow. What is it? A job interview. Oh. I have a job interview tomorrow. Congratulations. <laughs> Cheer up, why don't you? <laughs> all right. It'll be all right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Come in. Make yourself at home. A doll. What a surprise. Listen, I was thinking maybe you could let me take Glasha for a walk tomorrow. I mean, why let her sit at home? Some fresh air would be good for her. Breathe some fresh air. In Moscow. That's funny. Actually, she's not here. Me? Where is she? She'll stay at Dasha's for a while till we sort things out. Where? At Dasha's? At Dasha's. Do you have a problem with that? Hmm? Victoria, have you gone mad? Oh, oh, yeah, I'm crazy. What? So what? What are you going to do, huh? Will you hit me? Do it. You'll never see Glasha again, then. Fine, then. What do you want? You know. I do. How much? I'll have to think about it. Don't you also want to think about me suing you for this? Taking her away from you? Mm. Hm. I heard you lost your job. I did. You never even had a job. Oh, really? Yeah. I have a job, and do you know what it is? I happen to be the mother of your daughter. 
And you, being my husband in a case of divorce, must support me. All is perfectly clear in my opinion, so you go and think. Mr. Vitali, are you oh. okay? What's wrong? Hello, Anya. Uh, don't mind me. A really. cappuccino? Oh, thank you. Anya, I was waiting for you. Me? Yes, you. I have an offer for you. Will you help? Sure. Just tell me what you need and I, of course I will. Hold on one moment. Yes, Andre. Uh, it seems to me you're quite fond of Vitaly, aren't you? Wait, what? Relax, relax, relax. Cool it. Don't be ashamed. I see everything. I'm a former investigator. After all, Anna, you probably want to help him. Anything he asks for, you'll do, right? Yes? You don't have to answer. I see it in your eyes. So listen, Anna. If I find out that you're helping him. And I will, I promise yes, you. Yes, Andre, shh, well. Shh, 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 shh. Hold on. So if I find out about it, Anna, nowadays it's very difficult to find a good job. Do you understand? Yes. Good girl, Igor, my office. Bring me some coffee. Yes, yeah, sure, I'll do it. Two. Oh, that's it. I owe you big time now. <laughs> Never mind, Vitaly. No, I'm serious. You can't even imagine how important this is to me, so ask anything you want, and I'll do it. Well, except for the blue moon and a silver Bentley. <laughs> Frankly, I... What, a silver Bentley? <laughs> no. Just today I'm meeting with my friends, and I've told them that I have a boyfriend, and... The problem is, well... He didn't show up. Do you think that you could be my boyfriend today? But I'm an old guy. You should call Yarek. Please, it's very important for me. <sighs> okay. The job interview. Yeah, it went well. They hired me. Anatoly, can you believe that? Yeah, I got it. I'm starting next week. Oh, wait. I got a call on the other line, okay? Uh huh. Hello? Hello, Vitaly. Of course it is. Uh, I just remembered that we said we were gonna meet today. Right now? <laughs> yeah, I'm completely free. I'm on my way. Oh, hello. Uh, thank you. Um, could I have some coffee and tiramisu? You make wonders. <laughs> you know I'm waiting for someone to come, so could I have an espresso while I wait? No problem. Thanks so much. Hello. Hello I'm there. sorry that I'm late. Oh, it's okay. Here. What's that? It's proof that you are being set up, Olga. The contract, the list of services, agreements, basically all of it. Why are you doing this? I want to fix everything. 
Um, what I mean to say, I know I can't fix all of it, but at least you'll have the money back. With this evidence, Dimitri will agree to all of your conditions, so ask for more. That's all that I wanted to say. <clears throat> Hold on. I thought we were gonna have dinner tonight. I can't, Olga. I'm sorry. Ah. Business. Business. Mm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Olga, I honestly can't. I'm sorry. I understand. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Hello, Dima. It's me. No, wait, it's important. No, but I... Well, okay then, I'll call the lawyer. Mr. Renatovich. Hello, it's Olga Kozreva. Hold on, listen to me, it's urgent. Afternoon. Hello. Hello, Olga. Hello. Excuse me. I'm really unable to discuss our business for the next few days. I'm not in Moscow right now. Not even in the country. You understand? Is that so? Olga. My boss gave me the instructions, and I can't change anything. You understand? Mm -hmm. What is this? Just read it, please. I think you'll be very interested. Have a good day. You were supposed to make sure that nothing like this was going to happen. Well, I... You said that the company leaves no trace. But that's really, really what? You understand, I can't go to court now. Because if she or somebody else decides to dig further, then I'll go to prison. And nobody understands that better than you do. Please don't worry. We won't go to court. I'm going to take do care of everything. Do you remember what I wanted? I do. I remember. You wanted... You wanted to make sure this divorce went without any problems. Clean and without any trouble. And now if we don't settle this, there's going to be a scandal. Because of this idiot who fooled around with a man's wife and even got paid for it! A correction. He didn't sleep with her. They didn't have all sexual right intercourse. Then. You need to get your shit together and handle this, all right? I got it. I'll settle it. Of course you will. And you'll handle it immediately. <sighs> now, as for this other guy, the... As for this lovebird, he... I'm already trying to solve this problem. Can I go? I'm leaving. Anatoly, do you think it will work? I don't know. We have to wait. Only time will tell. What if they don't read them at all? I mean, if they do, they'll just make something up. With the piles of money they have, any evidence can be circumvented. Anatoly, are you listening to Listen, me? Listen, do you happen to have a scale by any chance? I think I've gained at least four pounds. Anatoly! Calm down, will you? They're playing the waiting game. Because if they called right away, we would know that they're afraid. But this, my friend, as Ludmilla would always say, a good poker face is everything. Oh, 
here we go. Answer it. Hello? Mm. Yes, it's me. You went to meet. Uh, no, I'm not sure I can make it at that time. Please call me back in an hour or so. Mm -hmm. It worked. <laughs> they got nervous. There you go. <sighs> I need to call Vitali. Why is that? Um, he was the one who got the evidence. So he set you up, and what you want to do now is thank him for it. Um, what do you mean? Come over here, take a look at me. Mm. What is it? Nothing. Just like a regular... <laughs> he gave me flowers, and then he yeah. invited me yeah. to the movies. And then? Uh, and then the movie was over, and... And we went for and a walk. After? Wouldn't you ladies like to know? I'll go get us drinks. <laughs> He's great, Anna. You're so lucky. Isn't he gonna old? <laughs> it's okay. I like older men. Oh, his phone is ringing. Who's calling him? It's nothing. Work. I'm fed up with it. Calling, calling. As if there's nobody else to even work. Let's take a selfie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, looks pretty good. <laughs> well then, time to go. Mm. Um, goodbye. It was very nice meeting the two of you. The pleasure is ours. Well, we should hang out more often. Oh, for sure. We're always down, right, girlfriend? Uh-huh. See you later. Vitali, do you happen to have a friend like you and also single? Oh, drop it. We need to go. You understand. Bye now. Bye-bye. Bye now. See ya. I don't see them together. Well, I do. No. They're a good couple. No. Are you jealous? Well, what do you think? Did we convince them? We really did. Well, that's great. Time to go home. I'm going home. All right, bye. Uh, wait. Yeah? If you don't have anywhere to be right now, well, I live alone. If you want, we Anya. could. I really need to go. Mm. Goodbye. The door! Anatoly, I'm in the bathroom. Can you get it, please? Yeah, I'm not doing anything. Of course, I'll get it. That's... So that's how it is. I knew it. I knew it. Friends, I'm Darling, here. you're here. I'm here, darling. Oh, what, darling, what, what's wrong? Get it? Ouch, it hurts. There. Well, I'm suffering. Come on. Suffering, thinking, uh, how come? Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, what, what, Maybe are you, what are you I doing? Who? Oh. Lute, Lute, it's not. Uh, Lute. Uh, it's, um, it's. Goodbye, Anatoly. Uh, Lud, Ludmila. You know, you know, honey. You can keep the car. You can drive your Babe, hold on. gold digger around. Keep the phone, too. And the clothes. I'll have them dropped off for you tomorrow. It, enjoy. Lud, hold on, honey. No. Damn it. 
Ludmilla, wait! Hold on a second. You know what? If you came to ask for forgiveness, that's not gonna happen. Here, here's my phone. Yeah. Take it. See? The car keys? Here. Take everything. And that's how it is? Yeah, just like that. If you're a blind idiot, live alone then. Me? I'm an idiot? <laughs> Me? I'm blind? Do you have any idea how I'm living in there? Do you? I'm sleeping on a folding bed. She's just a friend. Do you understand that? Just a friend. I loved, love, and will still love you. Do you get that? Understand? <gasps> Ludmila, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Can you forgive, forgive me, me too? Will you forgive me? Hey, what? Did I help, not warn help, you? Help! Huh? Hey, 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 enough. Calm down. What are you doing? Get out of here. It's none of your business. Hey, hold on. Back off, man. Are you calm yet? Vitaly? Vitaly, can you hear me? Olga, please, be careful. What happened? Why are you speaking like that? Wait, Vitaly, are you okay? Not really, to be honest. Just be careful, Olga. <coughs> okay, uh, tell me where you are. At a parking garage, near the office. Vitaly, are you there? Hello? Yes. Yes, that's the address. Listen, I don't know, but I think he's injured. He can't even speak. Do you understand that? Do you understand? He only just managed to tell me where he is. Should I call an ambulance or what? Does it make any difference who I am? Just say I'm his wife. Vitaly! 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 Vitaly, where are you? Vitaly! Vitaly! Vitaly, can you hear me? Come over here! Vitaly! Doctor, how is he? Will he survive? We're taking him to surgery. His condition is critical. Can I see him? Please, it won't take long. No. You can come by tomorrow. to 
blame. It's all because of me. Don't cry. Forgive me. Don't cry. Don't cry. I don't like it when you cry. Vitaly, are you okay? Somebody help! He passed out! Where's that woman who came in with that injured man? I don't know. Oh. Here are his belongings. No. No, no, he can't die. Who died? He's alive. They saved him. Here are his clothes. Take them and wash them right away or you'll never get the blood out, all right? Take care. Hey, you got a minute? Ah, good afternoon. Hello, what is it? I got some documents here for you. Anya, hello, I'm Olga. Do you remember me? I honestly had nothing to do with that and I'm sorry, I have to go. Anya, wait, I need to talk to you about something. My boss will kill me and then fire me. I'm very sorry, but I need this job. I have to go. No, wait, listen. You must help. Not for me. It's Vitaly. He got into some trouble. Anya. Anya, calm down. Calm down, please. I saw him yesterday. In the evening, everything was okay. And then, how come? How can that be? Monsters, I hate them. Anya, please calm down. Anya, he survived. It could have been worse, please. And if it had, if he had died, how is it possible? They, they have to pay for that. They have no right to act like that, none. Right. And that's what I want to talk to you about. But first, pull yourself together. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. And is Dimitri on his way? He will be here soon. He asked you to wait here. Okay. Maybe you should offer me some coffee or water? No? Okay, I can do it myself. Please wait here. <laughs> what if I want to go to the bathroom? Dimitri, don't worry. Everything will be okay. And if that guy decides to open his mouth? I assure you, he's not going to. Dimitri. No, no, nothing like that. They only talked to him. And reached an agreement? I think so. I'm sure they reached a deal. scared me half to death. Don't you see I'm cleaning? Get out. Get out. Go. Go. Shut the door. What else? Anya, if you're looking for something... Why do you think so? It's useless. Everything has already been destroyed. How? But he... he couldn't... Listen, the documents are okay. Well, yeah, I know. He asked me yesterday to create a separate storage and create a password. <laughs> Does that mean that the only people who know the password are Barisic and you? Well, yes. Mm -hmm. 
You got nothing. I have something. With all due respect, Olga, the copies you sent... Listen, I know that what you wanted to do to me is called fraud, and you did it on a large scale. <laughs> And I'll prove it. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I thought that my wife was an architect. It turns out she's a writer. <laughs> no, not even a writer, but what do you call it? A screenwriter. Yeah. <laughs> Hollywood's really, waiting for you. What an imagination you have, old guy. I don't get what you need these files for. In one case, when I typed the report, I made a mistake. Now I have to correct it, otherwise he'll fire me. Fired? That's pretty cool. Will you go to Sri Lanka with me? Imagine the Indian Ocean, sunrises, sunsets, and the waves. Do you know what the waves there are like? Huh? Let's go. I'll book our tickets right now. How much longer? Just a moment. It looks like the password has been changed. Apparently, he decided... To hedge his bets. Yeah. That's the end. No, I don't think so. Our friend here is an average user. He's not a pro. Which means his password shouldn't be hard to crack. Gosh. Bingo! I told you. You're a genius! Do you have a flash drive? Yes, I do. So, should I book the tickets? Well, okay, but first go and check if Borisich has arrived. Thank you. <laughs> well, Olga, if that's all, then... Can you tell me something? Have you always been like this? Or did something change in you when you met another woman? And how long did you see each other? A year? Two years? Or did you always have some love affair? You really want the truth? Dimitri, please. She's provoking you. What if she's uh, recording this conversation? Of course. I'll record everything and use it as evidence in court to get as much of your money as I can. Is it not so? Do you want to say that you don't need the money? Justice. Oh. I'll get it. Make no mistake about that. Olga, uh, don't you want to sign the divorce papers? Don't hurry. First we'll go to court. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. What do you have against me? Enough evidence. Ah. Oh, you mean those papers that you had sent? Or the testimony of your lover, perhaps? What? Are you even certain that he's able to appear in court still? Huh? I knew it was you. Dimitri, we need to go. I'll find a way to nail you to the wall. <sighs> so tell me, are you not afraid? Dimitri. Aren't you a little afraid that the same thing that happened to him might happen to you? Igor, come here. How many more times should I ask for the report to finally appear on my desk? Okay, I'm on it. Quit daydreaming. Uh, yeah. Hello, Andre. We've greeted each other already. I came to take the dishes. Would you like tea or coffee? No, I wouldn't. I didn't ask. Go. I'll call you when I need you. Yes, I'm waiting. Tell her it's urgent. That it's about her divorce. Some new facts have emerged. Yes, I'll wait. I've already sent it to four of them. Another eight are left. There now. They use the same scheme in all 12 of the divorce cases, and look, it worked for them. Borisic got it right. He had four wives himself. He knows what he's doing. We called him a bluebeard behind his back. <laughs> Hello? 
Yes, hello, Svetlana. We... Let me... Hello, Svetlana. Good afternoon. My name's Kozreva. Olga Kozreva. No, I don't think we've met before, but we probably saw each other at some event or something. Yes, you know, um, what has happened is that my husband recently filed for a divorce, and the reason he cited was adultery. He had pictures, evidence, but yet there was no adultery. Weren't you in a similar situation? You know, I found the company which organizes fake performances like this one. And among all the other files, I found yours. Yeah, I can send everything to you. Give me your email address. No, of course not. It's for free. Yeah, I'm writing it down. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I got it written down. I'll send it right over to you. Talk to you later. Send it right over. Here you go. Well, we have some work to do. Your husband will get frightened. Mm. That's the problem. He's not really afraid of me. You see, Anya, even if it all happens like we planned, nothing will change. It's not like your clients were plumbers or cleaners. They're rich, with connections. Rich and influential, so what? Listen, everyone can be brought to justice, including your husband. I hope that's true. We should at least try. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Anya. Thank you for letting me help you. When, when I heard about Vitali, I... Do you think... Do you think I could visit him? Do you mind? Of course not. Why should I? Visit him. He'll be glad to see you. to see you. I can't uh, believe that this happened to you. Uh, I'm so sure sorry. Oh, stop, stop crying. Calm down. <laughs> Anya. Okay, there that's you it. Go. I won't. Yes, there. <laughs> mm. uh, Vitali, I'd better give you something to eat. Just hold mm, on a moment. No. Don't worry. No need, Anya. I'm not hungry. <laughs> and I can't, I have a surgery tomorrow. Are you nuts? Come here. There, calm down, Anya. I have a favor to ask you. Please find... Please find Olga. She's in our records. Tell her that I said for her to be careful, okay? Please. She must let it all go and not interfere in anything, will you? Can you do that for me? Is that okay? Of course. Good. Thank you. Of course, don't worry, all right? Shh, shh, shh. I'll, I'll be fine. Oh, hello. Hello. I did hear... Come in. Maybe I'd better... He's not home. And his lover is not here either. Please, Olga, won't you come in? I've just made a pie. Come on in. That's what the situation looks like, Regina. Yes, a monster. How did it come to this? How? Olga, if you need any help, if I can help you somehow, I will. In fact, you can. Regina, I need to find a sore spot. Something I can use against him. Do you understand? Well, you... you have access to his study. Maybe there's something in there. 
Yes, maybe. Olga, why don't you have some pie? It's really good. Wait here. I'll be back. Anya, what took you so long? I've been waiting here for you. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm right here. What do we have? Well, nine out of 12 decided not to go to court. Their husbands proposed a settlement. And those foolish women agreed. I mean, can Calm you believe down. that? That's their right. What? What's wrong? It's about, it's about Vitali. The thing is, he's having surgery today. A surgery? Yeah, he told me that it's today. And he asked me to let you know. I understand. I'll go and see him today He asked then. me to warn you, so, so that you would, you give everything up and not interfere. Okay, then. You're not going to change your mind. Anatoly, hello, it's me. Can you talk right now? Uh, uh, listen, I want to ask you something. No, don't worry. I don't need your car again. Um, I just need to talk to your Lyudmila. Yes, of course. Tomorrow would be perfect. Could you ask her? Thank you. I'm waiting for your call. Very nice. Uh, hello. Hi. Hello, hello, I'm sorry. Ludmilla, Anatoly told me that I could come this morning and meet up with you and, and talk about something. Of yes. course. My Ludmilla is very kind. Mm -hmm. I told her everything about your situation. Yes. What your husband did to you is just terrible. But that's life, and anything can happen. Sure, it's just that... An innocent man might suffer, and he doesn't deserve it. Yeah, he may need a wheelchair for the rest of his life. So what do you want from me? To pay his hospital no, bills? No, sweetheart, no. Olga wants to get back to Dimitri. Olga, tell her already. Yeah. There's just one man that I need to see. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. His name is Kozurev. He's preparing a deal, and it's his prospective partner. I'm pretty sure that you know him. My dear, I'm acquainted with half the city. <laughs> his name is Andre. Andre Petrovich. Uh, uh, 
Valdive? Yes. Yes. Your friend certainly got some nerve, Anatoly, that's for Sweetheart. sure. Sweetheart. Well... Mm. What? Sweetheart, what? Everyone loves you. I mean, how could anyone not love you? And you know I love you. Really? Isn't that right? Mm. Mm. Oh, yep. Anatoly. Okay. My Anatoly. Mm. <laughs> Fine. <sighs> so, how's it going? You okay? Mm -hmm. You don't fight anymore? Well, who would fight with her? She's the best, honestly. That's right, that's right. So I wanted to tell you, we're having a baby. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. H Hello? Alexander, understand. Please, it's just simply impossible. It can't be. I promise you, a leak here is impossible. Not in our company. Maybe perhaps your security service could... No. No, Alexander. Who did it? I know it was one of you. One of you leaked this stuff. And I will find out, definitely. And then... Why are you so certain it's us? And you, why are you all quiet? There's only one answer. Vitaly did it to get back at you. Licked everything, and obviously he's hiding. Well done, Misha. Very nice try, but I give you no points, Misha. It doesn't match up. It's been days since I fired him, and all files were still in place. And then I destroyed them, so it can't be him. My dear friends, it's one of you. Someone who is computer savvy. Who did it all. It was me. What? I did it. I hacked the password and saved the information on my flash drive. You? Did someone pay you? Who? Who did you sell us all to? First, I didn't get paid. Second, what you do here is a crime. I dread to think how many lives were warped. And Vitaly... Ah, Vitaly, that... It was him. He made you do it. Vitaly is in the hospital, in critical condition. He was attacked because he cares. And you and your clients did it. And you? Why are you looking at me like that? Maybe you'll order an attack on me as well. Get out of here, girl. Enough. I'm done with you. You're fired. Oh, with great pleasure. I was going to leave anyway. What? No, I didn't understand. Yeah, I gave them my phone number. I know, he's having an operation today. Complications? Yeah, I got it. I, yeah, fine, thank you. Thank you so much. Victoria? Is that you, Glasha? How do you know my name? Glasha, I really need to get a hold of your mom. Can you call her, please? She's not at home. Neither is Dad. I'm alone. Uh, maybe your mom told you where she was going? Mommy told me she had a meeting and that I, as usual, was standing in her way. So now I'm home alone. You don't know where my daddy is, do you? He's at work, honey. Come on. Let's go inside. Let's go. When is he coming You'll back? You'll catch cold. Uh, I, I hope he'll be back soon. You know, your dad is very busy at work. But he's been thinking about you. Wait, really? That's true. You know what? He asked me to give you something. What? What is it? Hello, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> What? What else? What else did he say? 
okay. He also... Ah, he also asked me to cook for you. I know, the soup. He always makes a special soup for me when he's home. All right, let's go. I'll give you something to eat. Come on, where's the kitchen? Impatient, yes, you're really impatient. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? <laughs> oh, I should buy some strawberries to serve Perfect. it with the champagne. Yeah? Yeah? Great. Oh, mm. there is one thing. My daughter is at home, but she won't disturb us at all. You sure? I think she's already sleeping. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right. <laughs> Do you want some more, Glasha? Huh? No, thank you. <laughs> Please tell my dad the soup was really good the next time you see him. <laughs> okay. I promise I'll tell him. Do you think you'll see him soon? I really hope so, honey. Then... Here, my daddy gave this to me. And now I'll give it to him. Give it to him and tell him I love him very much. <laughs> will you? Of course I will. Oh, I think my mommy's home. Everything's fine. Pay All no right. attention. Come here. Listen, go to the shop, buy some strawberries, okay? Just do that, okay? I'll settle everything here All real right. quick. I'll wait for you, okay? Hurry back. Don't take too long, okay? I'll be waiting. Bye. <laughs> well, this is quite the surprise. What are you doing here? Hold on, I didn't get anything. What operation? Appendicitis? Victoria, I came here to tell you that he was attacked and now they're gonna operate on him. It's very serious. He may not wake up at all. No. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Mm. He was already poor and now he's disabled? That's just great. What am I supposed to do now? I need money. What money? Everyday money to live. And what if he dies? I was going to give Glasha to him. What am I gonna do with her now? What am I gonna do with her? She's such a burden. What am I going to do? Victoria, are you going to the hospital or not? I'm not going anywhere. Leave me alone. Oh my God. Hello, Andre, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for being late. Hello, sit down. <sighs> I'm sorry, what's your name? Olga. Olga. So Olga, I agreed to meet you for one reason only, because Ludmila asked me to, but it doesn't mean- Yes, I understand. I only want two minutes of your time, that's all I need. What's that? That's a contract. <clears throat> the documents. Documents on your deal with Kozrev. I managed to get them. And so... Uh, I hope that I can keep him from deceiving you as well. How much do you want for that? Nothing. I don't need money. Everybody needs the money. Everything has its value. Everything that is free usually costs too much. And I don't like to pay the extra. That's why I ask you again, how much? Here, read this. That is, that's my story. And why do you think your story would interest me? Why should I care? simply because you've been married for more than 20 years. So 
why I think you'll understand me. I want him to get what he deserves. I'll be going now. Thank you for meeting with me today. Goodbye, then. Any news? Fine. First, on Voldeev. Now the papers are right, and I've sent them already. Second, your wife. Your wife doesn't call uh, or write, and most importantly, doesn't demand anything. Oh, that's great. Yes. Well, all good then. Call her tomorrow. We need to have those documents signed. Why wait any longer? Uh, hold on. One moment. Good evening, dear partner. I was just about to... What? Yes, about our meeting tomorrow. Uh... Uh-huh. And... Uh, cancel? Well, what a pity, and I thought that we may... Uh, maybe on Friday. How... What? Yeah, I heard you. Yeah, I got it. Well, goodbye then. <sighs> Andre canceled the deal. Did he say why? Yeah. He knows about Olga. What does that have to do with... Well, he said that he values the family unit a lot. And that the show that I put on to get rid of my wife... Come on, Dimitri, it's business. And made not... him reassess his views, not just on me, but on the deal. One minute, but only one. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't want to wake you. How are you? No, no, no. Don't say anything. Don't waste your energy. I just wanted to see that you're okay. Though it's hard to say that you're doing well right now. The doctor on duty is making his rounds. You should leave. Oh, wait a sec. I brought something for you. Glasha, look. Glasha asked me to give it to you. Everything's going to be okay. Do you hear me? The main thing is that you're alive. That's enough, miss. Come on. You have to go. Thank you so much. How much should we offer her? Uh, how much? How much? Oh, Dimitri, if I were in your place, I'd agree to absolutely everything. What? Do you hear yourself? What do you mean, any demands? What if she demands a private jet or an island to go with it? What then? Listen, my friend, in your place, in your position... This isn't only my position. This is your position as well, I remind you. It was your idea to start with, going through all of this. Hello. Am I interrupting something? Hello. Tea? Mm -hmm. Coffee? 
No, thank you. I have very little time. Let's get down to business, shall we? Yes, sure. Uh, we were just, uh, just discussing the, uh... Yes. Will that be enough for you? Is that half of it? I didn't know that things had gone so bad. By the way, does Tanya know? Poor thing, she counts on more than that. You're not gonna get a penny more. So I would advise you not to haggle. I'm not going to. I'll sign everything you tell me to. Very good. And please sign here. That is your non-disclosure agreement. Uh, here, please. Good. Right here. But I have one condition. I need the money right now. They're not home. I saw back when I was walking over to the shops. They left about half an hour ago, with luggage. What do you mean? Where? How would I know? They don't report to me. To the bus station, I guess. This bimbo told Glasha that they were gonna ride a big bus together. On the bus? Do you know where they went? There's a lot of bus stations here. It's very important for Vitali. Do you understand that? I do, I do. She took Glasha to her grandmother a few times. Their grandmother lives in Riazon, I think. A bus to rise on. Got it, thank you so much. Oh, no mention it. It's so good you're okay now. We were so worried about you. Uh, by the way, Yarick sends his mm -hmm. best. He's our computer guy, remember? Mm -hmm. He's a good man. He helped gather all the evidence. We came here together, but he decided not to come in, so... Anya, hold on. How's Olga? I think she might have come by right after the surgery, but I may have been dreaming. I forgot. She was busy, but now, now she's okay. She made a deal with her husband out of court. I'm sure they did. And our company is finished. It was a nightmare. You should have seen it. First there was a search, then they sealed it off, and Barisic has had a criminal case initiated against him. That's a beautiful doll you have. Did your daughter bring it? Do you want something to eat? No, Anya. I'm not hungry. Maybe? I don't know. You look so sad. You're making me want to cry right now. Anya, were you gone already? Really, I'm gonna be fine. Yarek is waiting for you. He's a good guy. Give him my best. Go on. Get well. And call me if you need anything, okay? It's a deal. Bye. Victoria! Victoria, hello. Uh, what? What do you want from me? To talk. Next time. No, now! Victoria! What do you want? Did you come to change my mind? No way. You know, I'm glad he's alive, but as long as he has no money, we have nothing to talk about. it yourself you need it urgently there's an advance payment advance give up the child and you'll get more more and what if I say no
When will I get the rest? After the hearing. Mm -hmm. And bear in mind that I recorded our entire conversation. Hmm. You're a real pro. Who would have thought? <laughs> I had very good teachers. Well, okay, I agree. I'm going to talk to the lawyer. Then I'll call you. Mm -hmm. Victoria. What? Can I take Glasha today? For just a few hours. I promise that I will take her right back home, or wherever you say, at the time that you say. I don't know. What if you decide to run away with her? And what if you run away with all the money? You're very funny. And you're not. I love you so much.